Scamont Engineering was founded in 1978 and is headquartered in Johannesburg, South Africa. We are a market-leading original equipment manufacturer of a range of positive displacement and multi-stage centrifugal pumps for the underground mining industry. We are now going to compare two different methods to dewater an underground mine, namely the conventional dewatering method, or CDM, and the Scamont dewatering method, or SDM. Let's take a closer look at the pump technology used in these dewatering methods. In the CDM, the end suction pump is utilized. These pumps are limited in terms of maximum pressure and therefore in order to get to a workable solution for underground mine dewatering, they are commonly connected in series to increase the overall pressure of the system. In the SDM, the self-balancing multi-stage centrifugal pump known as the GSB is utilized. As the name suggests, these pumps are self-balancing and therefore do not require a balanced disc assembly to overcome the axial thrust as seen in typical inline multi-stage pumps. These pumps are designed for high pressure and high flow rate applications. Now that we have a better understanding of the technology, Let's take a tour underground and see how water from the mining operations is gravity-fed from the upper levels to a dam situated at the bottom of the mine. This dam is used to feed the pump stations, which transfer the water vertically to surface. For the purpose of this analysis, let's assume that this dam needs to be dewatered at a flow rate of 900 cubic meters per hour, or 4,000 gallons per minute, and is situated 900 meters or 3,000 feet below surface. In the conventional dewatering method, or CDM, the water is discharged from the bottom of mine dam to the initial pump station. This pump station consists of a duty pump train made up of three end suction pumps along with a second pump train for redundancy. The water is transferred to an intermediate pump station, 225 meters, or 900 feet above the initial pump station. This process is then repeated for the next two intermediate pump stations before the water finally reaches the surface. You can see that this method requires 12 duty pumps, 12 standby pumps, four transfer dams, and a complex arrangement of piping infrastructure in order to dewater the mine. This method is also maintenance intensive and is inefficient in its energy consumption. Now let's take a look at the Scamont dewatering method, or SDM, the preferred choice for mining operations globally. The water is discharged from the bottom of mine dam into a single GSB pump, with a second pump for redundancy. Transfer is direct to surface through a single column, negating the need for intermediate pump stations as seen in the CDM. This method requires one duty and one standby pump, Due to the self-balancing technology, maintenance is limited to basic procedures. This method is far more energy efficient due to pump efficiencies, which can be as high as 82%. When comparing these two dewatering methods, it is glaringly obvious that the only solution to consider for your underground mine operation is the Scamont dewatering method. Scamont Engineering. How can we dewater your mine?